hospitals, these people have to, they come off the street, they need to get completely rerouted to their direction in life and you just can't throw them in a job program and expect them to, to, to take off. It's just not going to happen. They're going to, they need a lot more other support before that. A lot of the people who, who are sleeping in the pews or using our free food um, are people who are so far on the margins. They, they wouldn't be able to get it together to come up with their name on the list and sit there and talk to us and figure out how to collect documents they might need. Ultimately people choose a place to come for help because they, they get the help but they also feel valued in the getting the help. Advocacy is a big part of what is offered at the First United Church Mission. Advocacy is a word defined by the dictionary as the act of pleading or arguing in favor of something, such as a cause, idea, or policy. It's also defined as act of support. This advocacy and the advocates that offer this service can be found throughout the halls and offices of the mission. They are there to argue for and to plead for the people that come off the streets to see them. On a good day, you'll get it right about 10% of the time. The rest of the time, you're going to fall on your face. When I first started here eight years ago, we, we might have days in which we might have 12 or 13 people, which to us seemed like a lot at that stage, and we might have days where we had five people. Now we often have a, a 12 or 12 or 13 day person is a light day, and we have days where we have like 22 people on the list. Susan says that as an advocate, she often feels her job is to fix whatever problem the person approaches her may have. Once she has the information she needs to argue for the person, she takes that case to the right government agencies and advocates for them. The task of the advocate is to work with and for the people that need their help, and advocates at the First United Church Mission are no different. They work with people on many areas, including essential assistance, housing, health benefits, family matters, addictions, and some legal matters. The advocates at the mission collect information from the people that see them, and then advocate for them. The social safety net is so deteriorated um, that someone who might need, for example, advocacy may not be able to get it anywhere else in the Lower Mainland. Um, so we're really a, still the, the, kind of the social safety net, replacing, which is actually going back to the old days of what churches were replaced. You know, you know, in the 1400s, churches were the social safety net. Advocacy work goes on at the mission, day after day and month after month. Advocates help people to help themselves through one-on-one -on -one work on particular individual problems of a legal or paralegal nature. Also through essential assistance with housing, health benefits, family matters, addiction treatment, legal situations, or financial matters like income tax returns. You become the voice who tells the ministry worker why they're wrong rather than this really passionately involved person whose life, literally their life, depends on this. If you're about to lose your housing or your baby's not going to get enough food to eat and your baby's not healthy, I mean all those things happen to people. But they, you know, if, if we don't win this case they're on the street in three days, that's their life. <laughs>